All we need is a place to be And a few good friends for some company If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got everybody how are you today hey this is Gretchen Shepherd with my new channel on camera and usually this is all about cameras but this is also going to be about some gear today I've got unboxing of something new and it is a Ulanzi ASD 30 30 centimeter mini Bowens octagonal softbox say that 12 times fast. Um, anyway, um, let me tell you a little bit about why we have to do this. So I'll show you this here. <laughs> so you see that big white thing up there? Yeah, that is the styrofoam insert from Sunbox that came of something. And I had a bracket from an old shelving unit and I that had a hook on it had a, a bracket and a hook. It was like a, almost like a, a C clamp type thing. So I jammed the hook into the styrofoam and then the bracket part fit right over the top of that shelf that's up there that you'll see, that you can see up there. Yep. Well, anyway, ah, there we go. That you can see right up there. All right, so it fit over the top. And I have this um, 40 watt, I think it's a Ulanzi light too. Yes, it is a Ulanzi light uh, that was recommended to me by Mr. Camera Junkie. And it's really great. I've got it at like one or 2%. I had to have it facing that way because as a standalone light, it was just too bright if it was straight on me. But if I did it, turned it away without anything to reflect on it, well, then it wasn't enough and I didn't want to have it up at 100%. It was just a lighting issue, something that I, quite frankly, sometimes struggle with. Yeah. So, um, because if you can see here in the room on this side over here, um, you'll see that there is a window shade. Yeah. And uh, the light my desk and everything. So it's, how do you deal with this? So Yulanzi came out with this mini Bowens for this. So I thought I would go ahead and unbox it when I got it. So here we go. Let's see what's up with this. And we'll perhaps maybe even be able to install it. I am using um, to record all this video because I am I'm a photographer I love cameras um, I love taking photos I don't mind uh, shooting videos I don't really enjoy editing them all the time so I'd much rather go live or at least do it in some way that uh, allows me the illusion that I'm going live <laughs> and that's what Ecamm does for me because it has this great little pause button so I am recording this I'm hitting the pause every once in a while when I get to a point where I need to readjust my thoughts then I will hit unpause and Ecamm will keep recording and then when I'm done it will post directly to the channel yeah, and then YouTube YouTube can do its magic. So that's what I'm going to do. But here we go. An ASD30 30 centimeter mini Bowens mount softbox. Ulanzi. You can see that there. Here we go. Box. It's not supposed to, it's, it's supposed to be pretty. I, I didn't want huge because I... 
really have enough stuff in here that I didn't need it to be a huge issue. Now let's get a little more light on you for now as we pour this open. That's another issue of light, but that's okay. All right, here we go. There. Okay, so you can see there the Ulanzi. Nice bag that it comes in. Nice little carrying bag, which will be good for wires. I'm always needing something since I did my wiring. I should put that video over here on this channel too. I did it on my other one on images by Gretchen, um, but I bet it would be a good one for this one because I had a great time doing redoing all my wires and organizing them. So this is, oh, this is the screen that goes on the, the diffractor and another small one here. That must be for, well, we'll see. Do I get any directions? Oh, I do. I'm not done pulling things out. Yay, two more things in here. What is this? I suppose the directions would probably tell me what the, these things are if I opened them. And Ulanzi qualified certificate. Ooh, I got a qualified certificate. ASD 30. Okay. Of course, first part is in Chinese, where this is made. Then comes the English description. The softbox class, the rib, the Bowens mount that put the trigger down. Quick release nib, rib, quickly, quick release rib. Okay. Packing list. Two, a soft cloth and a grid. Mini bones plus two layers, soft cloth and a grid. That must be the, this must be the grid. How to open the soft box, press and hold the chuck in direction A and lift the frame in direction B at the same time to open the soft box. How to fold the soft box. Place your fingers on the outside of the trigger, press and fold inside. Okay, installation. Install the soft box cloth small white inner layer made of soft fabric is shown in figure one then install the large white diffuse fabric so these two things are different um, note the soft cloth should be stuck close to the bottom of the inside this is shown in figure two okay and insulation of the grid. After installing the white cloth off, install the grid. Okay, a grill is sold separately. All right, Oop, I don't need that language. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got here. They've got some directions. The Bowens mount is this part. The trigger. Ah, here's the trigger right there. So you can see there, um, by light there, I'll show you, yeah, see that? That trigger right there, those triggers, tr trigger, okay, pull the trigger down, is there another one? Okay, press and hold the chuck in direction A. Where's the chuck? And lift the frame in direction B. So, 
Here we go. Well, okay, this is one of those times where that pause button came in handy. This was, you have to give a lot more power to this than you would think to make it click. <laughs> Got it. And I didn't want to bend them, so I was kind of being pretty cautious. So that pause button gave me a chance to go look on the University of YouTube and <laughs> yep. this takes a lot more pressure to click it in than I thought. Okay, so you go all around and you click them out. I've got these two done. We will get these other ones. Plan on making some faces. Come on. Get all the way back there. There we go. Oh, okay. You you don't have to hold the button while you're doing that. There we go. Got it. Takes a little bit of practice here. One more. Almost. Two more. Let's pop this one back in. Get all the way out. Okay. Sorry, I had to put you on pause there, take it off, and give it a little more force. It takes a lot more push and force than you would expect and that you might even feel comfortable with. One of who works with camera lenses and stuff, I tend not to try to force things, but this wanted to be. Um, so next thing we have is this piece. And this is put in... Does it say which side? <clears throat> Inside. Installation of soft box cloth. Small white inner layer made of soft fabric. This is shown in figure one. That's this guy. And there are some Velcro pieces. It is, okay, goes this way. Velcro pieces are there. One, two, three, four. I assume it's on one side of the Velcro. Should be toward the bottom, like that, okay. Odd way to have the Velcro. The Velcro is um, 
ends up having the soft box at an angle there. I wonder if that's gonna, I'm gonna make sure that they're all going the same direction so my light reflects the same way. Okay, that is in right there. Four little pieces of Velcro. That's stuck in. <clears throat> now, in goes this guy. Large white diffuse soft cloth should be stuck close to the bottom of the inside. Oh, there's Velcro on this. I get it. So in here, not real clear, this whole section right in here is made of Velcro. All right. So this had four tabs of Velcro for the lower piece. This one has Velcro all the way down and it says it should be stuck close to the bottom of the inside. So that line in the directions which are pretty difficult for you to see. Let me turn this off and maybe you can see it. Okay, there yes. Right there, see that tiny little line in it? There. That's indicating that that is this dark spot. Okay, so the Velcro here is supposed to be stuck toward the bottom of that. So I'm going to line that at the bottom here, line there to there, and then I'll line here to here, here to here, here to here, there to there, there to there, and it is all installed. That was seemed simple. Compared to opening it, that was a cinch. All right, yay. Now, there it is. That's all there. Now, where is the grid? There's the grid. <coughs> Installation of the grid. How's that gonna go? Oh, and then the grid is also Velcro. Velcro, see, as I'm opening it, there is the grid. It's Velcro all the way around the edges. And after installing the white soft cloth, install the grid on the soft box as shown in figure three. Okay, so this is a little tab there. Okay, I'm going to just start on one edge right over here. I'll show you. Can you see there? There you can. There. I'm just gonna work my way around. Voila, the grid is in. All right. Okay. So that's all good. Fairly really easy to do. Now comes the tricky part. The tricky part comes putting it on there, <coughs> which I don't think will be quite as tricky as I think, but let's see if it gives me any directions for that. No. Okay. So this looks like it's got three prongs. These guys will be 
out of the way. So I've got to go see how it is going to be on the mount there. And pause and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And just so you know, what I did was I went in, unplugged that one, decided it was better to try to install it down here for you to see. So this is the <coughs> Ulanzi 40 watt LT028. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna pop this off of here, the top that it has right there, and there's the light. You see, if you can, it has the three prongs right there that match up with the Bowen mount, the mini Bowen mount. So it's pretty self-explanatory. We'll put that in here. Oops. Well, I can't reach in. And twist it a little bit. And there it's on. So that's it. This becomes superfluous because I have all that other stuff in there. So we'll set that, we'll set that maybe, eight. we'll set this up here for now. We'll set it right back there. Okay. Um, so that got that there. Now, what I need to do is change. I had it connected to this, um, this one right here. So I will reconnect it. I'm going to change the direction of it. Hmm. I may need to extend it a little bit where it's going to be. Yeah. So we're going to put it back up and we'll see because now it's going to be facing toward me this way. And we'll see how that goes for lighting. And I'll uh, take everything else. So let me go put that back up for you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It is up. Now, I had to... If you can see, let me, so you'll notice that right up here, it's attached to a pole that's going up that has my camera on it. Um, and there's a, a, an extension there. I not so sure I, that that's what I want to do quite yet. The connector. I have several other little things around that I can put things together with to hold it there. Uh, but that is almost at a 45 degree angle. So the goal is to have it at a 45 so that it cuts the glare off my glasses. Um, as that is, you don't get the glare on my uh, old iMac back there, um, which is there. And I've got a single little light there. I've got a single light over here. Whoops, got in front of the camera. I've got a single light over here. That This would be just way too bright for me there. But if I'm doing an overhead type of thing, I could turn that one on and off. But what do you think? So I've got it up. Uh, I'm going to double check because I don't think, hang on, I, it might not be. <laughs> it looks like it's dropping. I'm going to need to recheck that footing. But it's put together. So that's that on the Bowens, um, Ulanzi Mini Bowens Mount ASD30 softbox. Pretty easy to put together. I see a couple little gaps that the Belcro I haven't got tight around the edges. Um, I'll show you 
just kind of fiddly little things. You can see up there, there's a couple little spots in it where it needs to be connected better so you don't get that weird flare of light. But for now, I think that that is going to work. I'm going to adjust the, um, the pole that it's on and maybe the location on it so that it's a little more square as a key light. But for now, it worked. Hey, so thanks. This is Gretchen with On Camera and a, a little bit of uh, unboxing of a, a new thing for my setup. Uh, not something I use out in the field because as a photographer, that's not really what I want to do. And, but I hope you'll come back to the channel. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with somebody. Um, I'll be back again with opening or playing with some of these guys back here. I have some antique cameras that I want to open and I did one the other day and you'll find that on the channel here, but I appreciate that. And like I said, I did all of this within Ecamm, all the overlays, um, the pausing, <laughs> Every little bit is all part of Ecamm, except maybe the little on cam, the little camera guy down at the bottom that has my name. Uh, I designed that in Canva, but everything else, the whole producing it, recording it, being able to pause, adjust things, all the different camera angles all come from working on Ecamm. So if you think it's kind of fun and want to give it a try, there is a link in the description that um, is my affiliate link and will give you a free trial and you know it's just a way to support me and uh, but and it's a win-win because it costs you nothing and it benefits me but yeah like all these wonderful things so hope you liked it and I'll be back again with something else on camera See you next time. All we need is a place to be And a few good friends for some company If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got